Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another vlog video. It is Friday, October 9th, 2020. I think it's like around 9.40ish right now, or 9.30, somewhere around there. So I'm here at the storage unit already. I finally got a decent time. It's not like 11 to 12 o'clock already. So change of plans. Um, I don't usually get my son on Fridays, but I am going to get him for today. So all my focus is always on him. So all the plans that I had for today is going to have to be tomorrow. So I am going to, however, uh, do the two shelves right here, which will take me like 10 minutes, and then I'm going to unload what's in the car, and then surprisingly, I sold one Funko Pop for like $52, which was awesome. And so, yeah, I'm going to do all that, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I get done with everything here. All right, everybody, this is how it's looking so far. Like I said, I still don't have an organized, but it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm going to have to do something about these. I'm wasting so much room. So what I'm thinking of maybe doing is taking two of these and putting them into one of these. And then I'm basically just going to put like, for instance, T5 and T7 together on this. And yes, that's a very lazy way of doing it, but for right now... It's good enough for me <laughs> but yeah I have this I just put those there for right now these is where they're staying um, I have it to where it's not that much of a pain if like I have to get to this one I didn't want that much weight on these anyways because you know they're really old but I have it to where I can get access to almost all of them so that's pretty good space since I had them in two almost three tiers now I just have it on the top one so that's pretty good I still got to go to the store and buy one more but that's going to be tomorrow so yeah that's what I got going on right now the rest will like I said have to be tomorrow I'm going to go back to the house right now and show you guys what I sold so I'll be right back all right everybody I'm just going to go over real quick what sold uh so this was an old vintage I don't even know what it's called it's called a Go Anywhere TV radio from 1978. Hopefully I um, can edit this and I do like a little pop-up. Uh, but it sold for $30 plus shipping. I think it was like $60 all in. I thought it was going to go for a lot more, but ended up not. And uh, it was just a big bulky item. And uh, I still made some money on it, just not as much as I was hoping. Uh, this is Star Wars, uh, the Saga Collection. It's just two, um, just two different ones. They sold for $54, free shipping. This Toy Story one ended up selling for, I believe, around $29, $30. The reason why, I, I should have got more for it, but you can see the plastic there is messed up. There's dents everywhere. The plastic's messed up down here, and I think over there. So, still got around $30 with free shipping. I'm not, I'll basically become even, maybe make a few bucks off of this. It's a Robert Graham shirt. I thought I was going to make more money on it. I only spent, I only paid $2 for it like six or seven months ago. And this was back when I didn't do the item specifics very well. So, it's probably one of the main reasons why it took forever to sell. But it only sold for like $23. Uh, the Star Trek right here, the original edition, Klingon Cruiser. It was sealed, sold for 40 bucks, free shipping, but this is really light. It should be a pound. If it's two pounds, that's okay, but it might be a pound. Uh, this right here, I totally forgot the name of it, but it was a Melon Star Wars. Let me see. You guys can tell I'm totally prepared. Uh, Star Wars Biomer Monk. Or something like that, but it sold for seventeen dollars free ship, but that'll cost like three fifty to uh, three fifty or so. Uh, this is what I had to get out of the storage unit today. It's Buffy the Vampire Slayer Rock Candy Funko Pop, and it sold for I think it was fifty six dollars. So really good. And then last is Draco the Dragon from Dragon Heart. And uh, the box was really beat up. If you could see, like, it, there's holes and everything. But I wanted to keep it as real as possible. I don't want to, um, like, put tape over it or anything like that. And so this one ended up selling for $109 with free shipping. Uh, this is probably going to go at a 
three pound rate, maybe four pound rate, but it shouldn't be more than like $17 to ship uh, FedEx. So not bad overall. Uh, it was just shy for, for the Funko Pop that I got this morning. And then most of them were from yesterday. And I believe uh, like this one just came in. This one sold a long time ago. They took forever to pay for it. Uh, I believe it was like $388 for everything. So not too bad. And so, yeah, that's everything. Hold on. So, yeah, that's everything. Not bad. Um, I've been messing around with my eBay store left and right with promoter listings, best offer when it comes to sales, all that kind of stuff. The only thing that I haven't touched yet is volume pricing. I don't know how that works. If you could do it with separate different items, like, for instance, one Funko Pop and then another Funko Pop. I know it works with variations of like one item where you have a quantity of a lot, but if it works with separate items too, like you buy four items, you get, you know, 12% off or something like that of the whole entire order. Um, I just got to watch some more videos on that, but I might get into that a little bit. Um, I'm not sure because my wiggle room goes away with each, um, with each like, you know, thing that I'm trying to get a sell in. So I got to be careful that I'm not getting too much into my profit. Otherwise, what am I, you know, selling all these for? So that's what I have for you for today. This video will continue tomorrow. I'm going to hopefully get these up really quick and then I'm going to go get my son and then I'm going to spend the day with him. And then next time you guys see me, which will just be in a few seconds, it will be tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is actually the next day. It's already past nine o'clock. Sorry, I have no light. <laughs> Let me put on a little bit of light so you guys see me a little bit. All right. Okay, so it's a little bit after nine. I've been up since probably like five this morning. I don't know why I woke up so early. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I have just been trying to clean the house as much as possible, as in just getting all the totes out and everything. So I've been doing pretty good. So just like, okay, so that is the stuff from, part of the stuff from the storage unit. And then there's a tote right there. And then if you look over here, these are the totes. So I did a lot of organizing. I uh, cleaned a lot through my closet. I'll show you guys here in a second. It's still not done. I still have a lot to do, but very nice. I could see my apartment a little bit again. And so uh, some Star Wars stuff. I have about three or four auctions that I'm going to be doing. And uh, I'll show you guys here real quick. Uh, but just uh, still have a lot to list. I have a lot of clutter right there in the back, which I'll get done tomorrow morning. I still have to do this big old huge rotisserie really hoping I get at least around, I'm going to try 150 but if I get $100 just to get it out of here to recuperate a bunch of money that I lost from the storage unit, then I'm happy about that. It is a big bulky item. I do not want to uh, sell that thing online. Um, it weighs probably, I don't know, like 25, maybe 30 pounds. So anyways, uh, let me turn the phone around and then I'll show you guys my progress so far. All right, so I can almost see my floor again. So all of this is a whole bunch of Chris, vintage Christmas ornaments that I found from the storage unit. Let me see if I can show you a couple here. By a little chimer or something like that. Some, uh, oh, that's completely something different. This is different too. Okay, so the rest of this is like Christmas ornaments or there's vintage um like, what is that, like, ribbon or something? Uh, I think it's from, like, 1997. And I'm just going to put that in a lot. I'm going to start it at probably 99 cents, and then I'm just going to, or I'll probably start it at $10, and then I'll just see what it goes for. So I had a whole bunch of Hot Wheels that I showed before. I'm actually going to make two auctions out of it. So this one has a whole bunch of just regular Hot Wheels. Okay, this one's not regular Hot Wheels. This one right here has, like, I guess, like, the special... Sorry for the lighting, guys. It has like the special kind of ones. Like there's this one. I know that one's about $12 by itself. Star Wars. Uh, this Johnny Lightning, I think, goes for around $20 or $15 with free shipping and stuff. And that, that thing's like almost a pound, if not more. Then I have four Star Wars figures right here, which is probably around the MSRP, like around the $70 to $80 range. And then so, yeah, that's about four right there. Let's uh, go ahead and go in here. Excuse the mess. 
My son's room is completely free of totes now. And so I finally can see my floor again. And then I got rid of all the totes. I decided that I'm going to keep all of the boxes in here. Because I'm OCD for my storage unit and I just want it to be totes. And so I am going to keep it like that. I'm going to reorganize all of this and make it look nice and neat. And so, yeah, before I turn back over, I wanted to show you. I did actually stop at a, uh, I guess, kind of like a thrift store that I've seen for probably two years, but I've never seen it open. And it was actually open today. Didn't really have that much stuff in it, but I did pick up a few things. So the first thing I picked up is this vintage Roper Men's, like, you know, a black and white striped shirt, but it has like the green on the collar. I thought it was really cool and vintage uh, Roper shirts are all over the place, but probably around uh, the $25 mark. Uh, this is an old uh, Archie VHS tape. This is selling, I believe, for around $18 on Amazon. And it's, there's only one for sale on eBay for, I think, 25 and there's no sales. Uh, this one right here, I, I don't know if people are just uh, charging it too much, but there's none on eBay. And there's four for sale on Amazon, and they're selling for around 40 to $45. So I have no idea about that, but I'll probably uh, put mine like around 40 to $35 mark. And then this right here is, does it even say what it is? It doesn't even say what it is. Oh. Walt Disney Cartoon Classics. This is one through five. All complete. I made sure that it was all the right VHS tapes. It's obviously a little beat up. Does it say the... It is from... It... I can't see it. I don't see it. Oh, well. It's obviously vintage. I just don't see the date on it. Oh, well. Anyways, um, I don't remember what it was going for on Amazon. I think around the $35 to $40 mark. Uh, but on eBay, it was going around the uh, th between the $30 and $40 mark. So I got these. I got all six of these for $4. She wanted a dollar each, but she's like, I'll give it to you for $4. Uh, this was $3. And then the last thing I got is a pair of women's jeans, which I don't know anything about. Uh, it's, it's by Tough, and I don't know anything about that brand, but I looked it up, and it looks like they're going for around the $25 mark. I don't even know what size this is. They just seem to be, uh, really nice. No rips. Seems hardly used, so I picked it up. This was only $4. So that was pretty cool. And, uh, one thing that I will talk about here before I end this video is this guy right here. South Park Officer. Is it Bar Brady? Um... I sold him a month ago, and it is now back to me. I had to do a refund. I'll explain that, but uh, it's just the guests not really paying attention, I guess, per se, but it was, it was like nothing wrong. Like, we didn't get into a fight or anything like that. He was really cool about it. I try very hard to not... Uh, like really start anything. There's really no point. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. I don't even remember where I... Oh, this is from the storage unit. These are going to be from the storage unit. Um, show you this real quick. They just got out of the washing. This is from 1997 Vintage Looney Tunes t-shirt. I think this thing is... Let's see if I can get a better image. Sorry. I think that thing is completely awesome. And I think it goes in the... Yeah, look at it. It's also in the back. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. There we go. Taz, Taz and everybody. 1997. I think this one's really cool. This one's like a little messed up. It has like the harsh texture. I don't even know what that's called, but hopefully that's worth something. Um, Disney Destinations. All I know is it's single stitched. It doesn't have a date on it. But I'm sure that's worth something. Uh, this one is dirty. This is from 1991. I don't do mornings with Taz. That's pretty cool. But it is a little dirty right here. Um, I'll, if it's worth it, I'll try to figure out how to get stains out. I don't know any of that stuff. Uh, even though NBA seems to not be popular. 
I guess this year. I don't really watch. I don't watch basketball. Uh, this is a Lakers. I don't even know what kind of texture this is, um, but it's some kind of jacket, and it's by O U N K. Is that Onk? Onk. Uh, anyways, two XL. I have no idea. I haven't looked at any of these up yet, but I'm sure this is probably what like a twenty, maybe thirty dollar jacket. Oh, and it has the big uh, Lakers symbol on the back. And then this one right here I thought was really cool. I can't read. I don't know if it's going to zoom in. Like, it seems like it says 1958, but I'm pretty sure that's 1988. And that's Snoopy. Come on, focus. There we go. Couch Bigo, San Jose. This is a picture of Snoopy. I thought that was really cool. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. But I thought that was pretty cool to to see all those. Hopefully that there were something. But uh, let me turn back around and I'll tell you guys the story about the return. All right, guys. So basically what happened is uh, somebody bought that South Park figure. I want to say like it was like September 12th or something like that. Paid right away. I shipped it out, I think, the 13th. It got, it got to his address uh, on the 16th. And... Um, I mean, I didn't look it up or anything like that. I just never heard anything back until a few days ago. Got a message saying, hey, I never got the message. Can you please check up on this? So I looked it up and it said no access on the tracking. And I was like, I have no idea what that is. So I looked it up and basically what no access means is if there's no room in the mailbox or I think if they wanted to leave it in the front, the front porch or like on the like side or something to where it's safe that nobody will steal it. Uh, if there's no way to leave it safely, then they take it back to the post office and then they keep it there, I think, for around two weeks. Don't quote me on it, but I think it's around two weeks. And if nobody comes to claim the package in that time, then they send it back to the original sender. So when he would actually messaged me a few days ago, that's when that, that was actually the day that they sent, they were sending it back to me. I still haven't got it back yet. And um, I, lo I looked up the tracking history and it said that I was arriving today. And so, as far as I know, don't quote me, but I, I think I'm right on this. Since the customer never received the package and it didn't say delivered on the tracking, I am still responsible for it no matter what. It's the same concept as if it got lost in transit, you know, in some place. It's not the customer's fault it's still your responsibility so with that being said um before i even knew that it was being shipped back to me i told the i told the customer i was all you know don't worry about it yada 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 um just open a case and say that you never received the item and then i will give you a refund always make sure that you see why a you know whether it's opening a case or having it on the message them saying yes please cancel I never received it, I want a refund. Something like that, so in case for some odd reason you need to show proof, then you have proof. Don't just do it. I mean, do whatever you want, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, so person was really nice saying that, um, I, I don't I don't know if they're still allowed to leave positive feedback after you give a refund. I, that I have no idea. I know they can't, when they open a case, they can't leave negative feedback. Um, but I don't know if they can still leave positive feedback, you know, to say, you know, that they were happy about how it was resolved and stuff. I, I'll have to look that up. But anyways, refund and everything person was really nice. I got it back. I looked at it. I looked at it. Um, there was already damage on the packaging to begin with. That's why it sold for only like $21 or something. Um, but I packed it really good. So there's no new damage on it. And so, uh, the price has actually gone up on it. Uh, people are selling it around the $50 mark. Um, couple people i think under 40 but i think there's like three others that are selling it for around 50 so i'm putting mine at 50 and like i say in all my other videos i always have sales going on um i i do a percentage off to watchers um, i always have best offer on all that kind of stuff so i always leave myself leeway and so yeah i mean all in all a little bit of a pain but at almost as painless as possible basically no fights no arguings customer wasn't mad or anything like that very apologetic because i mean basically waited three weeks to message me so 
it is what it is. So that's all I have for you guys on this video. I do have my, um, I'm going to be with my son for the next few days, so I'm not going to be doing any vlogs. And then um, hopefully I can get a couple trips into the storage unit um, and then show you guys the update on what it looks like when I, when I go get it on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday I think is when I'll be doing my next vlog. But if I do good this weekend, then I will try to do like a little video of showing you guys that I sold. Oh, real quick. So I woke up this morning and I had a message from somebody saying they wanted nine UFC figures. And then they asked me if they would take uh, this certain uh, this price. I added it all up and um, it wasn't bad what they were asking. They were only asking like another... Because I already had 15, I already had 15% off, and then they were asking for another, I think it was like another $40 off on top of that is what it added up to. And I told them I was all, as long as you guys pay for the shipping, then that's fine with me. And uh, Jet, I just want to get things moving and I'll still make money on it. And uh, they asked how much for shipping, would you take 450? And I'm like, I'll take 475, because it's nine figures with me. I. I can fit two in a nice box and make it all nice and neat and everything to where there's, there should be no damage to it. But I put, I'm going to be putting all of these boxes, which will be five boxes, into a bigger box. So it's going to cost me a lot, probably like around seven, seven, maybe eight dollars just in packing material because of bubble wrap and everything like that, just to ship this. And that's not including the shipping. So. We settled on four seventy-five for all nine. Um, I sent the invoice. They haven't paid yet, so that's why I'm not like excited about it. Um, but the Amiibo Navaru, Navayu, whatever, whatever that Amiibo is, that rare one, did sell today. I was very shocked. Um, I don't remember how much it sold for, but I think it sold for around two hundred and thirty-five to two hundred and forty dollars. That that payment did go through already, so that was awesome. I was very happy about that. So we still have Sunday and then I believe Monday, I think Monday's a holiday. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't keep track. I really do need to keep track of this. But I think Monday's a holiday, so I won't be shipping out until Tuesday. So hopefully I have a lot of items to show you guys. So that'll just be a video in itself. But that's all I got for you. Very busy. I can't wait to do more, but I'm going to have a bite to eat and then rest and then go to bed. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next videos.